we had invited a, a fourth speaker, and that was Dan Twafik, um, who was unfortunately uh, not, he is no longer with us. He died uh, a few weeks ago. And I asked Dror if he would uh, be able to give us a small remembrance of him. He was at the Weizmann Institute, and uh, he would have been one of our first speakers today. Uh, Dror obtained his bachelor's degree from Tel Aviv University and his doctorate from the Weizmann Institute. He did a postdoc at the University of Pennsylvania and he returned to Israel and is now head of the biotechnology department and bioenergetics and protein design lab in Migal in the Galilee, which is in the north of Israel. Um, and he knew uh, Dan from when he was at the Weizmann Institute. Okay, thank you, Paul. And uh, really this is, uh... It's a, it's it's a really a tragic loss. Uh, um, um, this really untimely uh, death of uh, <clears throat> of Danny Tufik. So I'll try to highlight some of his uh, his work. Danny was um, Danny was a really a true giant of uh, protein evolution research. Um, and then we are still in shock by his uh, death. So let me just say a few words about him and his uh, work. So Danny was, uh, Danny was born in 1955 in Jerusalem to a, to a family of uh, Iraqi Jews, uh, <clears throat> people who uh, immigrated from Iraq. He was um, very proud of his, uh, Jewish Iraqi heritage. He got his, um, he started his career in academy quite late, actually. He got his PhD in 1995 uh, from the, uh, <clears throat> the Weizmann Institute, working with uh, Michael Sela and uh, Zelig Eshkhar. Um, and the, the reason he started so late is because he uh, took his time uh, <clears throat> working. Uh, in uh, a family business, uh, constructing business, and then doing some uh, army service. He was uh, <coughs> a commander at the uh, Israeli army. Um, and uh, then he moved, he moved to, um, to Cambridge, uh, under, starting under Alan first, and then uh, doing some, um, some work of his uh, <clears throat> being a, um, a senior uh, researcher and and, and um, uh, um, an in, in independent uh, group leader, um, and then he moved to the Weizmann in two thousand one, and at, uh, will uh, highlight a few of his uh, of his um, uh, achievement and and the work that uh, as as uh, Paul was showing that the themes here, I guess he really touched in his work, all of the themes, I will, I will show it in a minute. And in 2020, just a year ago, um, he, Danny uh, received, was awarded one of the most prestigious uh, uh, prizes called the Met Prize in Israel. It's a national, uh, prize for excellence in art, science, and culture. And I would like to share with you a video that was produced uh, on this occasion by the Emet uh, uh, family. So, and, and here is Danny speaking about his work and about, um, about what he does. And I think this is quite appropriate to show it here. It's in Hebrew, but the, the, it's uh, it's uh, in it has uh, you know English subtitles. So you will be able to follow it. אני דן תופיק. אני חוקר מולקולות ביולוגיות שניקאות חלבונים. החלבונים הם בעצם אבני אבינים של כל המרחות החיות. מהחידא כחי פשוט עד אלינו. מגיל מאוד צעיר, מאוד נמשכתי לכימיה. אני חושב שאת הניסיונות הראשונים שלי עשיתי לפני הבר מצווה. המחקר שלי בעיקר עוסק, או האובססיה שלי היא להבין איך אנזימים נוצרים בתהליך אבולוציוני הדרגתי, 
תהליך שהוא מבוסס בעצם על טעויות מקריות, אז הוא נראה לכאורה כבין בלתי אפשרי למאוד מאוד לא יעיל, ועדיין ההצלחה שלו היא מתבטאת בזה שאנחנו יושבים עכשיו ומדברים. אני רואה היום נגיד סטודנטים נורא לחוצים שהם רוצים לסיים את הדוקטורט, מה אתה פה? ואם יקבלו משרה, כשהם יקבלו משרה קביעות, אבל שוכחים ליהנות, שוכחים ש... לעשות מדע זה לפחות בשבילי הדבר הכי כיפי בעולם. מדע זה היה משהו שתמיד היה מאוד ברור לי ומאוד טבעי לי. קשה לי היה להבין למה סטודנטים נניח מתקשים ללמוד ולעכל חומר חדש. הגעתי לטיפוס ופתאום הבנתי מה זה שאתה עושה משהו שהוא קשה לך, וזה נתן לי הרבה בלהבין יותר אנשים שעובדים איתי, וגם לפעמים את עצמי. מקור הגאווה הכי גדול שלי זה לא פרסומים או פרסים, זה התלמידים שלי, זה סטודנטים ופוסט-דוקטורנטים שעבדו איתי עכשיו לאורך עשרים ומשהו שנה ושהצלחתי להקנות להם את האהבה למדע וספציפית אהבה לאנזימים ואבולוציה והם היום, יש מעל חמישה עשר תלמידים שלי לשעבר שהם פרופסורים בכל העולם, וזה מקור אדיר לסיפוק, שתרמתי לחנך דור של, של, של מדענים. Yeah, so Danny really had a lot of, uh, of uh, his uh, students uh, um, at, at, uh, in the, at the research positions. Uh, two of them are my colleagues now at uh, Nigal. And definitely he left, uh, left us, uh, he left a legacy. And um, I would like to just share with you a few of his uh, um, um, highlights of, of his uh, research. Uh, he started starting very early already in, in, in his, during his work in Cambridge. He came up with this very um, nice, it's a technical, uh, um, contribution or achievement in uh, doing what's so-called in vitro compartmentalization, which was uh, <clears throat> a way to do uh, protein uh, expression in water in oil uh, emulsion. It's actually something that uh, uh, got me for the first time to, get, to connect with Danny, uh, trying to do some, to use this for my own project, although he eventually talked me out of this, uh, but it, it did lead me to a lot of uh, work that was done later, not for doing the protein expression by itself, but just in <clears throat> embedding the proteins in this type of medium, and in this way, um, having them uh, binding uh, uh, hydrophobic molecules. So with this, Danny started, his main contribution to uh, the field that is now called directed evolution. And uh, because this enabled uh, screening and scanning a lot of uh, um, <clears throat> uh, uh, processes, expression of proteins and protein variants without being limited to, uh, to the um, uh, bacteria or any other organism where the products may be uh, toxic. And this is still being used today by many uh, for many applications. But I think one of the most important, uh, oops, sorry. Oh, okay. For some reason I lost, I lost one picture. Um, one of the main, that's very strange. Okay, one of the main, um, one of the main contribution of Danny, I'm sorry that I didn't, I, I, for some reason this picture was lost here. Uh, one of Danny's main contribution actually was uh, in teaching us and elucidating how protein, how evolution works on the molecular level and the concept of protein and evol evolvability and the idea of that an enzyme, uh, ha enzymes have some promiscuous activity that 
I is the key that uh, and that needs to lead them to toward um, toward uh, uh, evolving into to evolve to acquire a new function. This is this is a concept that that uh, Danny. Uh, uh, put down and the picture I was sh I, I I wanted to show was actually a slide uh, presented by Frances Arnold in her um, in her uh, Nobel lecture where she's showing uh, Danny and his work and this was really the major the main contribution to this uh, directive evolution field and as Danny came to uh, this. Uh, concept of uh, how evolution work, I guess the most natural way was to actually go down and see how it works. And that's bring, that really makes it very much uh, <clears throat> relevant to what uh, the Enigma project is. And that is to, to look, to see how, where it started and, and just pinpoint the starting point of uh, proteins and and, and the uh, latest uh, uh, common ancestor universal uh, common ancestors and in here he had a few uh, really seminal uh, uh, contribution to the field in showing how very small pieces of uh, protein were the initial uh, point in evolution and he could go uh, very very um, very, very small, actually. One is in, in this work where he, in his work about the beta propellers were symmetry, were um, showing how proteins uh, evolve by symmetric duplication. And very recently also by identifying a common motif that is uh, that, that he showed that could be a common ancestor to very old um, uh, fold the Rossmann fold and the uh, and the and the NTPS, and I think also one of the things that uh, again I met him at this point was he was also interested in in the iron sulfur cluster uh, protein and the Dayhoff uh, uh, hypothesis, which was actually trying to to do a symmetric ferrodoxin. I remember discussing this with him. Oh, about 10 years ago, uh, but, but this was an, an act, actually a very, very challenging project that was actually eventually re just recently achieved and demonstrated by, uh, by uh, uh, VIX group showing, uh, demonstrating the uh, assembly of a symmetric uh, uh, bacterial ferrodoxin. And finally, and that's again, just highlight how much uh, this is a great loss. I just want to highlight some things that may be relevant to theme three. And that's a very recent work that was published in Nature Ecology and Evolution, uh, really just a few months ago, uh, where Danny basically showed by phylogenetic analysis that actually oxygen utilizing enzymes are dated, are predating the common uh, date of the great oxidation event. And I guess this leaves us with a very, with a very interesting and very intriguing uh, question. What, what is exactly happening here? Is the great oxidation event was determined in the wrong Place by the by the geological uh, by the geological uh, methods, or, there, or or is there something else that we need to still uh, figure out? So that's pretty much what I need to say. I think Danny was a great biochemist. I just want to just uh, uh, and it he was also an excellent speaker and 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 writer. I just found as I was preparing this uh, lecture, I was uh, finding some personal perspectives of him about chemistry and biology. So I want to end here with, with this citation of him about the chemic, about the about what is chemical biology being the study of biological systems with the mindset of a chemist. And in my case, Danny's case of a physical organic chemist. Um, 
And to me, addressing biological questions with the tool set and mindset of a chemist seems so obvious and natural that there may be no need to define a specialized subdiscipline. I guess this is a true interdisciplinary thinking. So um, as I said, Danny left us with a, with a very, very uh, um, um, <clears throat> important and, and uh, respectful uh, legacy and I think uh, we should uh, we should cherish this and 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 follow his uh, footsteps thank you very much drawer I'm very sorry for the loss obviously uh, Danny died in a climbing accident as I understand it in Croatia right. thank you very much